Hello friends, today's video is about the shortcuts that are being commonly used in Microsoft Word. There are many shortcuts in the Microsoft Word, but we will focus only those shortcuts which are used in connection with control key. I have enlisted all the shortcuts starting from control plus A all the way to control plus Z. Therefore, there are 26 shortcuts that we are going to discuss today. Let's start. The first shortcut is control plus A. This shortcut is used to select all the text. For example, I have two files here. This file contains the list of all the shortcuts and this file is for demonstration. If you want to select all the text and figures and tables which are present in this document, you just need to press Ctrl plus A key. In this way, you can select all the text which is present in this document. The second shortcut key is Ctrl plus B. This is used to make the text bold as well as to unbold. For example, we have this paragraph and we want to make the prioritize bold. We will click on this word and then hit Ctrl plus B. In order to make it unbold, we will again click Ctrl plus B and it will become unbold. You can make the whole paragraph bold by selecting it and then pressing Ctrl plus B. Similarly, you can make it unbold by again pressing Ctrl plus B. You can make the text bold by using this key in the font group. This key is used to make the text bold and unbold. Let's press it. Now the text is bold. You can see it. And now the text is unbold. The next key that we will see is Ctrl plus C. This key is used to copy the text. For example, I want to copy this heading. I will select it. Then press Ctrl plus C key and I want to paste it here. There is a shortcut key to paste the text which we have copied. But for the time being, I am using this button paste. The next shortcut key is Ctrl plus T. This will open the formatting window. For example, when we click here and then hit Ctrl plus D, it opens a font formatting window. You can change the uh, formatting style from bold. Uh, you can also change the size and make the uh, changes in the color and underline style and many other things. And you can also make a new style and you can set that style as your default. Okay. The next key is Ctrl plus E. This key is used to bring the text in the center of the page. For example, I have this paragraph and I want to bring the text in the middle. Then I will press Ctrl plus E. I can also bring this heading. For that, I have to click it anywhere on the line. You may select it. You may click anywhere on the line and then press Ctrl plus E. In this way, you can bring the text in the middle. Similarly, if you have, for example, a table, let's insert a table here. Uh, this a short table, for example, this you have one word like plan. You can you can also bring this word in the center of a cell by pressing Ctrl plus E. The next word is Ctrl plus F. This is the next shortcut key. This shortcut key is used to find a word, a phrase in the text. Let's press Ctrl plus F. If we want to find plan, we will write P-L-A-N, plan. And it shows that there are 15 results with the word plan. And you can also see my other video, which is on this navigation bar. I will give the link in the description below. Let's close it and move to the next word. Uh, the next word is 
control plus G. Let's press control plus G and you can see a dialog box is opened. This dialog box has three tabs, find, replace and go to. Go to tab is used to go to certain uh, places like pages, sections, line, bookmark. For example, my document has 13 pages and I want to go to page number, for example, 5. I will press 5 and then click go to. Uh, sorry. Okay, I will press. I will type uh, my cursor was on this side. Now I have now I am on this side. I will write five and go to page five. Similarly, if my document has section, I will I can move from one section to another section. Similarly, I can move from one line to other. For example, I want to go to line 10. I will type 10 and then hit go to. So this is 10th line of this page. Uh, in this way, this command is useful. Let's see what is the next command. The next command is control plus H. Let's try it here and press control plus H. Okay, this is the same dialog box that we had seen before. This has the same uh, tabs, find, replace and go to. Therefore, if we open go to, we can move to replace tab and we can also move to find tab. Now we are on replace tab. This tab is used to replace certain words or sentences with some other words. This tab is also used for editing of text from one format to another format. I have a video on this and I will give the link in the description. You can check it out. Now close it and let's move to the next shortcut key. The next shortcut key is control plus I. This key is used to italicize the word. You can make the word italic. For example, I want to make the word good italic. I will click on it and then press control plus I. There is also a button on your home ribbon which is used to make the text italic. When you press it, once again, you can make the text unitalic, like hit this and the text is no more italic. Similarly, when you press control plus I, it becomes italic. And when you press control plus I once more, it's regular font. Now move to the next key, which is control plus J. This shortcut key is used to write the text in such a way that the text on both the ends from the starting end and the from the ending end. This is uniformly distributed. Let's click uh, anywhere in the middle of this paragraph and then click Ctrl plus J. You can see the distance of these lines from the border is uniform as well as the distance of these lines from the border is also uniform. The next shortcut key is Ctrl plus K. This shortcut key is used to insert a hyperlink. For example, I click here and I want to insert a hyperlink. Then press Ctrl plus K key and I can make the hyperlink of anything like I can make the hyperlink of any file and any pages, any recent files and I can also make a bookmark of any places within a document or create a new document and then link that and many more functions like that. Okay, let's move to the next shortcut key. The next shortcut key is control plus L. This is used to make the text align to the left. For example, I have this paragraph. Consider it is justified. When I press control plus L, you can see that all the lines are not equal. They are aligned towards the left side of the page. Similarly, you can make the text in our table to align to the left side. Click on the, uh, click on the word and then press control plus 
एल लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट शॉर्टकट की द नेक्स्ट शॉर्टकट की इज कंट्रोल प्लस एम दिस शॉर्टकट की इज यूज टू मेक एन इंडेंट एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द पैराग्राफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी वॉन्ट टू मेक एन इंडेंट एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस पैराग्राफ वी विल प्रेस कंट्रोल प्लस एम की यू कैन सी दैट द टेक्स्ट इज इंडेंटेड फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट की विच इज कंट्रोल प्लस एन दिस शॉर्टकट की इज यूज टू क्रिएट अ न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट फाइल यू जस्ट गो टू दियर फाइल then press control plus n you have a new file that's so simple let's move to the next shortcut key which is control plus o okay this shortcut key is used to open an existing file you have saved it somewhere you you have saved it somewhere press control key and then press o you can open any existing file that you have saved in your pc okay let's go back uh, next shortcut key is control plus p this is used to print a document let's demonstrate uh, hold the control key and then press p you can see that you have different options for your printers which are attached you have different site settings for printing we can make a different video for printing settings so the next shortcut key is control plus q this key is used to remove the paragraph formatting for example we have this paragraph and uh, for example we just make an indent with control plus m okay in order to remove this formatting we will press control plus q you can see the formatting of paragraph has been removed moving to the next key which is control plus r this key is used to align the text towards the right side of the page for example this is a paragraph and we want to arrange the paragraph towards the right side we will press control plus r you can see all the lines have been aligned towards the right side of the page irrespective of its left side okay the next key is control plus s okay this key is used to save the document for example the, we have this new document and we want to save it we will press control plus s so you can see a notification here that it has been saved so the next shortcut key is control plus t this shortcut key is used to create a hanging indent for example you have this paragraph and you want to make a hanging indent you just click in the paragraph and then press control key with t you can see the first line is not indented however the next lines have been indented okay let's move to the next key which is control plus u this key is used to underline the text first you need to select the text for example we want to underline health we will click on health and then press control plus u if you want to underline the whole paragraph you need to select the whole paragraph and then press control plus u in order to remove the underline you will press control plus u once again there is also a button on the font group to underline or remove the underline of the text okay let's move to the next shortcut key which is control plus v this shortcut key is used to paste any text or image or table or anything that you have copied you can paste the text table or image by pressing control plus v for example we Uh, have this word financial gain for example we just copy it with the shortcut key control plus c and if we want to paste it like uh, in this table then we will press control plus v okay the next key is control plus w 
this key is used to close the tab for example i have this uh, document and i want to close it i will press ctrl plus w it will only close this document while the program will keep running okay for uh, i don't want to close it but, uh, let's move to the next shortcut key which is ctrl plus x this shortcut key is used to cut the text from one place it is also used to cut an image or table for example i want to cut this table from this point and then i will then i will press ctrl plus x and i want to paste it somewhere else for example after this paragraph then i will press ctrl plus v the table has been removed from this place and has been inserted in this space the second last shortcut key is control plus y control plus y this key is used to redo any action for example uh, i have this word set if i copy it and then i paste it here by pressing control plus v and i want to redo it then i will press control y again and again to have as many redoing actions as i need moreover this key is also used to undo the action of control c i will tell you in in a bit for example we have this shortcut key which is control z control z or control z this key is used to undo any action for example i have this table and by mistake i have deleted it in order to undo this action i will press ctrl plus z this table has restored recovered i hope you have learned a lot there are 26 shortcut keys that you have just gone through and you can only learn these keys by practicing them again and again otherwise you will not be able to memorize this.